All right, in this video, we're actually just gonna get started with the Scratch interface here. So first things first, I'm at the Scratch homepage right now, but I am logged in, and I'm gonna click on my username in the top corner and go to my stuff. Now here, I can actually click the new project button to create what is a new project or application, and that's actually going to launch the Scratch editor. Now, real quick overview of the editor. In the top left corner here, you do have the title of this program, so I can call this something like sample program, we have a menu up top, underneath the file menu, you'll see where you can do things like save, you can go and upload and download the project to your computer if you have the Scratch Editor installed on a Windows or Mac computer. In the edit menu, you'll see ways to actually um, kind of like undo things if need be. There's a tips and about section. These tools up front are pretty great. There's a copy and paste tool. There's a tool to actually make your characters uh, either larger or smaller. And then there's another help window if need be. Then if we actually just kind of move down and stay on the left hand side here, this white window where you see the default scratch cat, this is called the stage. And this is kind of the screen that your application will be in. So if I click on this blue button next to the title, it goes into full screen mode. Then we have the green flag and the red stop sign. These are almost like physical buttons. So if you were to imagine this app was on your phone, this would kind of be like the home button or a physical button that you can always use to start your program and end your program at any time. Down here in the bottom right corner, it's important to point out that there's an X and Y position. That's actually the position of my mouse, which is really, really great for figuring out where your mouse pointer is located. Below here, you'll see that we have a title called Sprites, and we have one sprite, which is our cat. A sprite is the word that the Scratch uses to refer to any type of object or character in the program. Now there are buttons to add sprites. There are all your sprites will be listed here. And if I were to hit this little eye, I'd see menus for my cat and options to work with. On the left, you'll actually see that there's a stage icon and backdrops. If I were to click on this, notice how the blocks of code changed. And I can do something like add or remove backdrops from here and there are also buttons to upload backdrops. Now I mentioned something about code already. This center section, this is your code library, and there are numerous categories of blocks of code. And from here you can do something like drag it out to the right hand side, which is almost like your work plane. So I can go ahead and combine blocks of code on the right here, and Scratch's block interface lets you snap code together to actually go ahead and build your statements. To remove blocks of code, I can either right click and hit delete, or I can drag and drop them back to the word bank in the middle. Also on the work plane, notice how there's a little picture of my cat and an X and Y position of him. If I move him, these numbers change. And this is actually telling me the exact location of the X and Y position of my characters on screen. Up in the very far corner, I can see my username and I can bring myself back to my stuff if I'd like or sign out. There's a save now button. Scratch does automatically save when you do things every few minutes. But if you want to manually save, you can always click Save Now. If it doesn't save Save Now, that means that there has been no changes and everything's saved. There's a Share button to share your projects, and there's a button to actually bring you back to what's called the Project Page, which is kind of like the overview where other users, if this was a public document, which is mine's not at this point because I have not shared it, can actually go ahead and read about your project as well as actually run the program on the Scratch interface.